Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. I'm your host, the Web Gear Guy, and if you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button and you're going to get all the latest videos that I'm in the process of getting ready to upload. I'm going to start trying to put out one a week. Uh, I know it's been a little while, I've been gone, but uh, I'm back. And like I told you from the beginning, I got bukus of web gear to show on this channel. So hit subscribe, like, and share with all your friends. Today, we're looking at an M1917 car dismounted cartridge belt, okay? Now, this particular belt here is very, very similar to the... the uh, the 1917 production run of the M1910 cartridge belt. See my other video on the end, the late war M1910 belt. But this belt is very similar, but however, there are some differences to this belt here. And once again, these changes were made for the ease of production for the war effort. So let's take a look at this belt here. First of all, the uh it had the 1917 they started with the lifted dot flat fasteners they replaced the old snap system and notice that these pockets are not woven they are made from canvas okay and see these pats are these pockets are flatly stitched together and they're stitched out of canvas now, the back sections of this belt is also made out of canvas. It has the same type of buckle right here as did the M1910 type of belt, okay? But they began to build these out of canvas, and it has, notice, it still has the webbing. The waist belt part is still made out of webbing. Still has the three holes right here uh, for the uh, M1910 uh, and 1918 pack to hook into. It had the same type of adjusted system right here with the two little, uh, uh, little hooks that went into the little eyelets on the hoe, okay? So it's very similar to the late war M1910 production but however, it is different, okay? And now, the thing about this belt, it still did not have, they still done away the, with the retaining uh, straps for the little uh, cartridges. And it did have the lifted dots. Notice, it no longer has the oval eyelets right here. It has the same type as the top. They changed that in 1917. Now, notice that um, this particular belt here is made of canvas, but yet it has webbing flaps. See that? Now, they do did make some of these, so keep your eye out. They have some that was, this pocket was made out of canvas like this, and the flap was also made out of canvas, okay? But this particular one still has the webbing flaps. So, they made them in both types of uh, of webbing and canvas but anyway these pocket sections here on this belt here are 15 inches long but however this belt section is 18 inches long okay which actually equates back out to basically the same length as the m1910 uh, type that i showed you okay but anyway the uh the companies that made these here, a couple of the main manufacturers was uh, Plant and Long and Chase. And uh, you'll find LLC in parentheses printed on some of these a lot of times. The maker mark on this particular belt here, I guess, has worn off because I have been unable to locate it. Uh, I guess once belonged to somebody named Duke, I guess. Uh, or thought he was the Duke. But anyway, this is an M1917 dismounted cartridge belt. 
Hit subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more from the Web Gear Review.